वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल रिसर्चर्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो दिस इज डॉक्टर अंशिका एंड इफ इन केस ऑफ एनी गाइडेंस और सपोर्ट यू कैन सिंपली रीच टू मी बाय कॉमेंटिंग इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन सो लेट्स बिगिन विद सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज टाइप्स ऑफ लिटरेचर रिव्यू now why am i discussing this with you is that whenever you guys are in the initial stage of your research so the first paper that you should and you can publish easily is of literature review right because you know that for your research literature review plays a vital role so whenever you do the literature review you can write a paper for that these are the various types of literature review in which you can write your research paper okay so we are going to discuss all these types of literature review one by one so the very first is the narrative review this is the most common type of literature review this is a traditional literature review what it does is it simply summarizes the entire research paper or say thesis or whatever kind of research it is it tries to summarize it all right along with that what it does is it tries to identify the gap and inconsistencies in the research paper or whatever research it is now an example of writing narrative review is over here like this is one of my papers that i have written how do we write the narrative review we simply first of all write the objective right the objective of my study then what do we do we try to discuss about the variables that were used in the uh, research then what do we do we see the sample okay sample then area geographical area number of sample that was taken and then the type that was used to collect the data then we have is the uh, whatever tool has been used to analyze the data and finally we summarize with the findings and suggestions right findings and suggestions so usually this type of literature review is used in writing our thesis so this is the best way of presenting our literature review in our thesis that covers everything say objective then we have is the sample variables findings and suggestions right we cover everything in this type of literature review type of literature review is the theoretical review now what it does is the name very well suggests that it is going to study about the pros and cons of different theories in any of your fields right apart from this what else you can study you can study the relationship between different types of theories and how have these theories been tested and investigated right and further you can also do the critical analysis of the theories now example could be that we have different kinds of theories of motivations like maslow's need hierarchy is there right and other kind of theories in motivation so when we try to uh say summarize all the kind of theory in one particular field so this is known as the theoretical review type of review is the scoping review so this kind of review is very well in trend these days you can write your paper in scoping review now what it does it it tries to be wider okay we specify the research question in a wider way for example i have to write a research paper on say one variable say financial literacy so this is a very broad say variable right i try to 
do the review on this very broad topic that is financial literacy right so what do we do we try to include certain studies and we try to exclude certain studies by setting the inclusion and exclusion criteria right now what can be the inclusion say all the papers related to my financial literacy will be included and what am i going to exclude say financial education okay and what else i am going to say i want to study the latest studies only after 2010 so this is one of my criteria for including my studies and for excluding studies before 2010 another criteria could be language right language i'm going to include all the studies that are published in english and exclude all the studies that are not in english what else inclusion could be say good papers that is indexed in scopus ssci abdc so on and so forth good index journal i'm going to include in my study and exclude all the studies that are not indexed in the good uh, say publisher or indexed right i hope you've understood along with that what does the scoping review does it that we try to focus on the future work along with the potential implications right we try to present detailed research agenda for future work along with the potential implication for practice and research i hope you've understood if not i'm going to explain you further with another kind of literature review that is the systematic review so before moving to that or before moving to any other kind of research if you guys really want to understand about how to write the scoping review please go and check my paper that is financial literacy financial literacy of entrepreneurs a systematic review so this paper i have published in scopus indexed and abdc and i think i'm not sure if it is in esci as well so the name of the journal was managerial finance i have covered everything in that the inclusion and the exclusion criteria along with that i've also worked on the future works and i've also given the potential implications for practice theory and research as well so go and study over there and if you face any problem come back comment and then i will reply to you guys right type of review is the systematic review as we have already discussed about the scoping review right so it is also similar to the scoping review with the only difference is that systematic review is more particular okay and it tries to answer a uh, say specific questions let's understand this with the help of the example in scoping review i told you that uh let's study about the financial literacy right it is a very broad term i have taken one variable and i am studying it however in systematic review what i do is i try to study about the financial literacy say of a particular group that is entrepreneurs i have become more specific now in this i can cover how entrepreneurs have the how much financial literacy do do, uh, do they have in what all area they are lagging right so i try to be more specific in my systematic review uh for this i have uh, made one video on step by step how to write the systematic review 
I am going to provide you the link in the description box. Please go and check there. Right? Okay. So, moving further in the systematic review, we have two types of systematic review. One is the meta-analysis and another one is the meta-synthesis. Now, try to understand the difference between the two. In meta-analysis, what do we do? We study and we take the data from various studies and try to analyze its result using, using the statistical procedure. This is a very important term for meta-analysis. That is, meta-analysis always use some tools. Statistical tools are being used to deduct the results. Right? Whereas in meta-synthesis, what happens is that it tries to say summarize, it evaluates and interpret interprets findings of qualitative research studies that cannot be expressed in numbers. Alright, so the major difference could be this theory that is meta-analysis uses to test hypotheses. Alright. Whereas, meta-synthesis uses to develop the theories in future. I hope you've understood. So, this is a very broad topic in itself. I'm going to take up in the next session about the meta-analysis and the meta-synthesis. But I hope you have understood the gist of this type of literature review, right? Next type of review is that methodological review. As the name very well suggests, what do we do in this? We evaluate various kinds of methods or methodologies that were used in the previous studies, right? This could be in terms of research design, data collection methods, data analysis, the techniques that were used in the various studies for collecting and analyzing the data, right? So, this method is used to provide recommendation for improving the future research. So, this is very easy. I hope you've understood. Let's move further. Next is the argumentative research review. Okay. So, over here what it does is that it examines various kinds of arguments, assumptions or philosophical standpoints, theories, or say prepositions that are already there, okay? And you try to find out some alternative viewpoint. You try to argue on whatever has already been established. Next type of literature review is the integrative literature review. It is the wholesome or holistic literature review. That covers both your empirical as well as theoretical review. You try to synthesize whatever empirical studies have provided you along with that theoretically whatever has been provided to you. Right? So, it is very comprehensive and it includes case studies, observational methods, meta-analysis and it can also include practice, applications, theory and guidelines. So, we can also say that this is the combination of diverse methodology. Whenever you try to summarize more than one kind of literature review is known as the integrative review. Clear? Now, the last type of literature review we have is the historical review. Over here, what do we do? We start from the very beginning from where the topic has been emerged, right? For example, say financial literacy. When this topic or say term was coined, from whom and till now, where has it reached? How this has evolved over the period of time? So, this is your historical review, right? I hope you've understood and learned something from today's video. If yes, then please like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.